The movie begins with the main character, Yashiro, a high school student whose life seems utterly pointless. He struggles both academically and socially, lacking any friends at school. The girls treat Yashiro as if he were an alien. However, one day, an event occurred that would completely transform Yashiro's life. At night, Yashiro would imagine beautiful girls to satisfy his desires because he was desperate to meet the queen of his dreams, whom he had encountered once before. This encounter took place when Yashiro and the queen of his dreams were still in their mother's wombs. Initially, their mothers were together in the hospital, allowing them to communicate telepathically using a particular song, which now serves as their secret code. They made a promise to meet one day after being born. This is why Yashiro has been searching for this girl ever since. As he ponders the same girl, attempting to navigate the complexities of his youth, a cosmic event unfolds in the sky, and a beam of light falls upon Yashiro. He panics briefly but doesn't dwell on it for long. The narrative then shifts to Yashiro's classmate, Miyuko, who, like Yashiro, often gets lost in her beautiful dreams, and she too becomes touched by that same celestial light. The next morning, when Yashiro is having breakfast with his mom and her boyfriend, he starts hearing their thoughts. Yashiro gets nervous hearing their thoughts, so he leaves his breakfast in the middle and leaves for school. Even in school, he could hear the thoughts of every other boy, like her disciplined teacher was scolding the girls from above for short skirts, but she wants to show herself as the most beautiful woman in the school by wearing short clothes. Just then, Yashiro's best friend comes there and shows him a new and beautiful girl Sae who has come to school, and Yashiro gets lost in her beauty. Then suddenly a strong wind blows, on which C's shirt goes up, and these two boys do not bother to take their eyes off. On which Miyuki, standing there, sees all this and teaches these two boys a lesson. Yoshiro gets very angry with Miyuko and starts telling in his heart. Just then he realizes that Miyuko can read people's minds like him, to which he sneaks out in surprise. The teacher introduces Sae to everyone in the class. Seeing her once again, Yashiro gets lost in her beauty and thinks that she may be the queen of his dreams. The scenes then shift to Asami, a professor at the University of Tokyo, and his assistant Akiyama who are seen discussing the supernatural changes taking place in the town. Here we find out that Asami has been searching for these powers for a long time, due to which he is left as a joke in the eyes of his co-workers. But still, he believes that one day he will be successful and shut them all up. There, Yashiro takes the Book of Supernatural Power from the library, in which he finds out about hundreds of superhero powers, including his mind-reading power. He immediately leaves for home. On the way, a strange old age friend Teru stops him. Teru tells him that he also got superpowers with the help of which he can move things even without touching them, but this doesn't happen with everything, only with some specific objects. The next day Yashiro takes courage and decides to go to school and talk to Asai. But then on the way he reads the mind of his classmate Inamoto, on which he finds out that Inamoto is planning to go naked in front of all the girls in the girls' room. Yashiro forgets about Asai and runs after Inamoto, but before he could do anything, Inamoto teleports to the girls' locker room, revealing his power to teleport from one place to another. However, Inamoto's plan fails miserably, scaring the girls instead of impressing them. Meanwhile, Asami and Akiyama arrive at the school and gather all the children with superpowers, including Yashiro's friend Teru. Asami reveals that Akiyama also possesses incredible superpowers, which involve her ability to predict the future of anyone who looks at her bra. This explains why Asami often gazes at Akiyama's undergarments. Among Yashiro's classmates is Yabe, who always keeps his eyes covered. It turns out that Yabe possesses the unique ability to see inside people, like an X-ray machine. Asami informs them about Yabe and his ongoing quest to find individuals with these powers. Asami explains that these powers are not exclusive to them, as many others have gained similar abilities in the past. These powers seem to manifest when the Earth is in a specific cosmic alignment, causing a cosmic light to touch and bestow these abilities upon individuals who are in the midst of their romantic climax and still virgins. This revelation sets the stage for the group to understand the origin of their powers and the potential danger they face. Amidst the revelation of how they gain their powers, Asami and Akiyama inform the group that the Earth and their very existence are in danger due to the presence of nefarious individuals. Recent events, such as the deaths of American superheroes, have raised concerns. Asami is determined to uncover the identity of this looming threat, and he emphasizes the necessity for them to join forces to protect both themselves and the planet. In the midst of these discussions, Sae arrives, and it is revealed that she is Asami's daughter. The narrative then shifts to a girl named Akiko, who has also acquired superpowers. Akiko, who is a lesbian, has struggled to find a girlfriend due to her eccentric behavior. To fulfill her desires, she misuses her powers to create statues of girls. The story progresses as someone leaves numerous dolls at Yashiro's school, leading Asami and his team, along with detectives, to investigate. Asami discovers that these dolls have been tampered with drugs and takes samples for further analysis. He instructs Akiyama to keep this information confidential to avoid alarming the new superheroes. The following day, a new teacher named Mia, who exudes beauty, arrives at the school and delivers a welcoming speech emphasizing love and understanding in a world-facing crisis. 
Mei observes Yashiro gazing at Asai and, intriguingly, places her hands on Yashiro's head, seemingly reading his mind. She identifies Asai as the queen of Yashiro's dreams before departing with her two female assistants, hinting that Mei may also possess superpowers. The scene shifts back to Asami, who speculates that the mysterious events are not of the material world and are the work of an evil psychic intent on destroying Earth and other superheroes. Meanwhile, the story reveals Akiko's house, from where hypnotized girls depart on a boat under her influence. Akiko expels a peculiar red-colored powder from her mouth, which begins to spread throughout the city with the wind. Teru accompanies Yashiro and Mayuki to school, eager to meet Mea. Upon their arrival, they discover that all the students have arrived without clothes. Mai, another character with powers, identifies Teru and Miyuki as individuals with superpowers. The strange spell that has affected the town becomes increasingly evident as even the townspeople are seen walking around in their underwear without clothes. In the ensuing scene, the girls who had left Akiko's house earlier take innocent people hostage in front of the city hall and present their demands to the government. Their demands include not charging money at love hostels, allowing people to go without clothes on the beach, and promoting adultery, among others. The list of demands is extensive, and they threaten to harm the hostages if their demands are not met. Amidst this tense situation, Asami and Mei arrive at the scene, requesting to speak with the leader of the protesters. Akiko steps forward, revealing that she also possesses superpowers, and she warns that if her demands are not met, she will unleash destruction. She instructs the girls to attack the people present there. However, before any harm can be inflicted, a mysterious lady appears and casts a spell on all the girls, turning them into lifeless dolls. Asami takes control of the situation to prevent panic among the onlookers. The enigmatic lady departs without providing any introduction or explanation for her actions. Meanwhile, Sae walks past Akiko's house after school, accompanied by her friend. Although the three are initially drawn to the house, Sae's friend senses something amiss and quickly flees the scene. Akiko manages to kidnap Asai through hypnotic means, and she subsequently targets Miyuki as her victim. As a result of these events, a peculiar disturbance begins to envelop the town. People leave everything and think only about romance, and seeing girls in bikinis makes boys more horny. Butteru is not phased by all this. Yashiro, now filled with worry, contemplates the situation. Mia encourages him, highlighting that a man can win the hearts of girls not just through masculinity, but also with the power of wealth. Amidst his thoughts, Yashiro receives a call from Sae, inviting him to meet her in the garden. Overjoyed, he rushes to the meeting spot, and Sae approaches him just like the girl from his dreams. Her song and warm welcome make Yashiro feel like his long wait is finally over. Sae thanks him for helping her father and offers to stay with him, surprising Yashiro with her forwardness. Akiyama becomes nervous about Sae's direct approach. However, their moment is abruptly interrupted as a mysterious lady, Julie, arrives and turns Sae into a lifeless doll, shattering Yashiro's dreams. Asami and Akiyama also arrive at the scene, and Julie introduces herself. She reveals that she was one of the superheroes when the others were killed but managed to escape. She's now on a mission to prevent a similar tragedy from occurring again. The police locate Akiko's house and inform Asami about her kidnappings. Asami devises a plan to capture Akiko by sending Yashiro, disguised as a girl, to attract her attention. However, things don't go as planned, and Akiko targets Akiyama instead. Fortunately, Akiyama's ability to see the future saves her. Despite their efforts, capturing Akiko proves difficult. Akiko informs everyone that she's returning to the city hall, prompting Asami and his team to head there. They discover all the kidnapped girls unconscious and encounter fake SAE-shaped girls. However, a boy with X-ray powers identifies the imposters. Akiko then confronts them, and her army attacks. Julie turns some of the attackers into dolls, but Akiko escapes with more girls. Mia captures Yoshiro and imprisons him in a box, while Asai and Miyuki are placed in another. Yashiro tries to comfort them, and Miyuki sings the secret song, revealing her true identity as the girl from Yashiro's dreams. However, Mia shatters Yashiro's hopes by claiming she taught Miyuki the song. With Julie's help, they defeat Akiko, who reveals she is just a pawn. The real mastermind is Mia, who controls people's memories and dreams. She aims to wipe out humanity for their perceived selfishness. Mia considers Yashiro one of the chosen ones and expresses her love for him, asking him to go with her. Julie intervenes to stop Mia but falls unconscious. Julie defeats everyone one by one and asks Yashiro to join her. Feeling hopeless about saving the world, Yashiro agrees. In the next scene, Yashiro finds himself in a nursery filled with children. Mia wishes to become a child again, but Yashiro refuses to support her. This causes Mia to become disheartened and resentful, eventually leaving. With her departure, the city is freed from the spell, and Yashiro is hailed as a hero. In the final scene at school, many girls sing the same song, as numerous pregnant ladies had talked to Yashiro that day and now seek his affection. And here the movie ends. We hope you liked our recap. If you did please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing recaps like these.